what... LCK. Everybody that's a fan of him wants to forget that, but it's just an unfortunate reality. We'll see if he can actually make something happen as he's going for a gank in the top lane this time around, but we I, all know that Silas can be a little bit slippery here. He's actually going for a trade on to Peanut Con, not very on that sustain now to keep up with Urgot inside of the matchup. And this could actually... Oh, this is really close, actually. Lens that second one yeah. and immediately to Fear Beyond yeah. Death into Ignite Flash as easy as you would like. First Blood. Take another quick look at this right away. You can see Kanzan, a little bit of a cooldown right there, gets hit directly by the E. And it was at this point, Khan probably, well, he didn't quite know yet, but he was about to, that he made, he done goofed, Brendan. <laughs> done he done goofed. goofed real big, I mean. Looked like the coaches were even in shock, but definitely happy. Like S tier play level of Silas just yeah. yet. And like what you're mentioning, it's not even just about how many games can you get in. Because well, hold that thought for a second, Clid. Yeah. Trying to get some MVP points. Bay. Here's Clid. There's the kick. He doesn't have his flash, so should be a pretty easy gank. Down he goes. It's kind of like the you know one of the first rules you learn. Please don't get clapped as. Pretty straightforward gank as Cube gets baited into a trade and Leeson has the mobility to make the gank work. Yeah, this was just a very easy and standard gank. There was nothing really that Cube. They're making a very wide rotation into the Gen Z jungle. Now they're trying to turn on to fly, but that aftershock keeping him alive for so long. He goes the two shot barrage and Khan from behind trying to make it happen, but two members of SKT immediately go down and here's Cube. From the top lane, Teddy, he is way too late to get onto this one. And the fear goes down onto Faker. That's three kills now that go the way of Gen G. Point three. Yeah. And taking a quick look at this replay, SK Telecom decide that there's no objective on the map, so they want to make a fight happen. And right here, Mata, he tries to do some sort of engage, doesn't end up being able to do anything. Khan says, I'm helping, but the only thing he's helping is the enemy team. As Cube about to use Khan's soul to try to get the Fear Beyond Death onto Faker, forcing him to flash away. This is absolutely catastrophic for SK Telecom. He tried to engage with that onto the Urgot the last time, and then he was like, oh, wait. Yeah, that's Urgot. I forgot that we didn't uh, we didn't Faker ban that one. Oh. Uh, okay, why? this is actually an opportunity as well. Rather than SK Telecom, Mata going for a hook, but you're not allowed to take that hook anyway, even if you land it. Well, how about we a go. double man play? They're really getting in there. Sinjao ultimate taken yeah. by Khan. Baker taking a little bit of damage before the fight does start here. That's what you think, Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> they just go out the back door here. Right. We do have fly up in the top side. The teleport does come in. They do see this happening. And they just want to turn immediately on the fly, but he gets into the back line. But he is going to ultimate himself down. Clid not in a great spot. And Khan taking a ton of damage as well. Is going to re-engage. But he, alongside Thresh, will go down. As well as Teddy. They tried to force the fight. Yeah, they're yeah. going to fight. A caster, by the way. So, <laughs> but I yeah. let you guys know that. Wow. And uh, they don't even really need to look at the power. And they could just poke them away. And SKT is going to have no hope. Yeah. No chance in hell. And getting near that objective right now. Clid thinking about it for her. About a millisecond there, and then he decides against it as Gen Z, they pick up Infernal, and they pick up the Baron, looking fantastic in this game one. Yeah, and taking another quick look at this, this is uh, David versus Goliath, what, you know, maybe should have happened. As SK Telecom, they're trying to make something happen, but they're not going to be able to. You need Corky to just deal a massive amount of damage before this fight even tries to progress, and when he does Very unimpressing are Silas and Corky, and both SKT have both of those champions right now, and they're 
feeling really good about that one. The ult goes down onto Faker, but he cleanses late and he can't get away from the True Shot Barrage. Doesn't even flash it as he will go down and as if they even needed that pick. Gen G looking to end this game. Yeah, and this was almost a perfect game from Gen G where they're definitely going to be able to raise these two turrets. Well, and there's nothing SK Telecom can do. We're yeah. just going to go right into game two. Mata trying his best, but everybody's going to be going down here. Pick up the clean ace before we even get into this one. Game one will go the way of Genji.